Hello, welcome to another video. I am at home in quarantine. I have been stuck inside now for a few days and I've got a few more days to go. I'm released on Friday the 10th of December and I can't wait. Um, do you know what? As far as it goes, I think I've actually had it very mildly, so I can't complain about my symptoms. But I do think the hardest thing is just being stuck inside at this time of year when, you know, there's all the lovely fun festivities going on and I'm just at home observing it on Instagram. Um, but in a way, I think I needed this, so I can't complain. I had a lot to sort out in the house and I just hadn't gotten around to it. So yeah, it actually, in a weird way, feels quite nice to be at home and just relaxing and really taking it easy. like. I'm not doing anything. I did yoga yesterday for the first time and that's the most like movement I've done in days and that felt really good actually. Like I woke up this morning just feeling like there's been a bit of a release in my body. So I'm going to do that this afternoon as well. Um, and I had actually planned this morning to make some homemade granola and I will this afternoon because I've got all of the ingredients but the loveliest delivery has come from a little gorgeous cafe called New Ground. I've got a green juice, I'm gonna show you properly in a minute, but look, I've got like a proper little breakfast set up. It's so, so thoughtful. And you know what? I have been completely blown away by the thought that people have put into making sure that I'm okay. My friend from Brighton sent a delivery of, uh, from Pret of a little sandwich, a ginger shot, uh, and a chai latte. It's just things like that that really mean a lot and I wasn't expecting it at all. And it just really, it's heartwarming and it goes to show how kind people are. And I think especially this time of year, it's all about spreading a little bit of joy, a little bit of love, and I'm really feeling it at the moment. So thank you to everyone actually that has been looking after me. Even the messages on Instagram, just being like, I'm thinking of you and hoping you're okay. That honestly means so much. And I think spreading that bit of positivity goes a long way. So don't underestimate how much that means to people when you when you do just spread your kind words and thoughts and yeah, I, I feel I feel the love, I'm really feeling the love, so thank you. So this is what has been sent to me, a green juice full of goodness, a ginger shot, and this is exactly what the doctor ordered. This is going to sort me right out. That's also a really big ginger shot, I love it. And a chia seed pudding, so it looks like we've got berries and coconut on there. Absolutely perfect, and then to look forward to later, I have some Pump Street oat milk chocolate. I haven't tried this one. Pump Street is amazing. A little cube of ginger and then an energy ball. All very thoughtful things. So thank you so much to Joanna at Newground for sending this to me. I'm gonna have a little bit of this now. Oh, wow, strong, <laughs> delicious. Wow, ginger. I definitely can still taste the ginger, that's for sure. Ginger is so good for you when you're sick. Any cold, flu, it just sorts you right out. That's amazing. Mm. Oh, I feel it like, oh, oh, I feel it like burning down my throat and I can feel it in my chest. Wow. Yes, that is what we need. Oh, I'm gonna try this green juice actually as well. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Ginger shot followed by this. This is like a sweet green juice. Mm. Mm -hmm. With like seeds on top. Wow. Um, you've probably noticed my house isn't looking very festive at all. Um, I'm seeing what you can see behind me. A kind of plant that's feeling a bit sorry for itself over there. That's definitely been neglected. Um, oh. Do you like this? This is a faux sheepskin. I didn't even know they did that, but I went on a little Google hunt, went down a rabbit hole trying to find one, and I did find it. I can't remember where I got it from now. Um, oh my gosh. It begins with D. Dal? Is it D-A-A-L? Did I get it from there? I don't know what's going on, but my memory has been awful this week. I will put it in the description box if I can find it, but it's the softest thing and I absolutely love it. And I love that kind of Scandi style over the rattan, lovely. Um, 
But yeah, you're probably noticing there aren't any decorations and there are two reasons. A, I haven't been feeling well. I've been in quarantine and I was just like, what's the point? And well, not feeling up to it. And B, kind of felt a bit sad, like a girl living on her own, putting up a Christmas tree. I was like, that's a little bit tragic. But then I've completely done a U-turn and I have ordered a Christmas tree. I love that you can do this. You can literally order anything. Ordered a Christmas tree and it's coming this morning. And I just thought, do you know what? That's not sad and tragic, a girl on her own decorating a Christmas tree. I think it goes to show that I want to enjoy my house and I feel worthy enough for a Christmas tree. So there you go, I've completely spun it so that I'm, yeah decorating a Christmas tree today. So I can't wait, that's literally the only thing I've been looking forward to all week. Um, so hopefully, I think that's coming, oh, I've got no watch on, I think that's coming in about an hour. Um, I think that's coming really soon. So I'm gonna have my breakfast, Christmas tree will arrive. I've got my Christmas decorations. I picked them up from my storage unit in the summer. And at the time I was like, do I need my Christmas decorations? And I'm so glad now that I did bring them. They're all kind of like hidden in this little storage thing that I have down there. So I can't even remember what's in there. I probably don't have a star for the top or anything, but we'll see. I hope I've got lights. I think I've got lights. Um, oh, my candle just blew out. Ooh, time for a new one. So I think it's actually, as far as quarantine goes, going to be quite a fun day. This is my advent calendar this year. This is by the charity Better, which helps raise awareness around mental health concerns. And I just think they've done such a good job. It is stunning. Before I'd even open this, I just had this propped up against the side. And so many people were asking me about it because it just looks so lovely in the home. And the little gifts inside are even better as well. They're all wellness orientated. So we have a little bath bomb. This is a stress essential oil spray by This Works, which is lovely. Um, tea by Bird and Blend. Look at these socks as well. I feel like I need to wear these to decorate the tree today actually. And then there's also like little cards um, for example, what's this one? This is about helping you to sleep. So it's a little subscription. So what day are we on today? I think, is it the 7th? Yeah, it's the 7th. So over here, here we go. Oh, snacks. <gasps> Yay, from Brave. These are so delicious. I think this is the first foodie thing I've had other than the tea. Yay. Oh. Excited. Just checking I did open the right one. Yeah. <laughs> Look what arrived. It's my Christmas tree. Oh, I'm so happy that I ordered this. So this is five foot, I think they said. Yeah, that seems about right. I'm five foot four. So yeah, I think that's probably about right. They said it would be between four and five foot. It's perfect. At home, we go for a big old crazy huge one. But for me at home, I thought this would be the perfect size. I love how I'm just like hugging it. This is my guy, Fern. No, Fern's a girl's name, isn't it? It can be a girl. We, yeah, let's do a girl. This is Fern. It's not even a Fern tree, is it? But there we go. That's just the first thing that came to me. <laughs> It is a little bit wet, which is why I've brought it down here just to dry off a little bit, as you can see. Oh, it's a horrible day. Torrential rain out there. So, I think it's the perfect time to get cracking with the granola while this dries off. Okay, so, granola ingredients. I am kind of just going to make this up as I go, but... <laughs> In case you want to make this, I will put the full recipe in the description box because I think I'm probably going to change this as I make it. But I think at the moment I'm going to do three cups of oats, one cup of almonds, also one cup of pecans, but these are the only pecans that I had in my cupboard, so I'm going to have to pad that out with more almonds. Um, what else have we got? Obviously some cinnamon. I'm going to do like a tablespoon of cinnamon, I think and then some cloves, maybe a teaspoon of ground ginger. And I think I'll do about a quarter cup of coconut oil as well as a quarter cup of maple syrup. Why not? Oh, and also some coconut sugar. Oh, how much coconut sugar am I gonna do? 
maybe a quarter cup of that as well. Uh, I also have an orange and I'm going to zest this and use the juice as well. And then I have one cup of raisins. Start off by preheating the oven to about 170 degrees Celsius and melt the coconut oil. Let's add the three cups of oats into a bowl. Try not to get the oats everywhere. One cup of almonds. And ideally one cup of pecans, but I'm just going to add that up to a cup with the almonds there. Good pinch of salt. I'm gonna really go for it with a tablespoon of cinnamon. Why not? It's Christmas. And a teaspoon of ground ginger and some cloves. And a quarter cup of the coconut sugar. Give that a good old stir. Look at that gorgeous orange zest. Wow. And I'm going to add the juice. The coconut oil is melted, so that can go straight in. Quarter cup of maple syrup. There we go. Oh, this is like Christmas in a bowl. And I forgot to mention this with the ingredients list, but just a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And there we go. Let's give this a good old stir. I stir in the raisins about 10 minutes before the end. So I think we're gonna have this granola in the oven for about 30 minutes. And then the reason I add these near the end is because otherwise they go really hard and chewy if they're in there for the whole time. So leave the dried fruit until the last 10 minutes. Oh, yum. So I've just flattened it with the back of a wooden spoon and you want to stir this every five to 10 minutes just to make sure it's not sticking too much. I'm going to set the timer for 20 minutes and see how we get on. Perfect. I'm clearly the kind of person that buys a new set of lights every single Christmas. This is ridiculous. I have no idea how I've ended up with so many. Total madness. Right, so I've got the tree stand there, ready and waiting. Let's go and get the Christmas tree. Here we go. <laughs> Right, how do I do this? This is looking so, so good. Those almonds and pecans are going to go so deliciously crispy. I'm just going to add the raisins. I'm going to estimate about a cup. Oh, they're massive raisins. Wow. Jumbo raisins. Perfect. So yeah, another 10 minutes and I think this will be perfect. The lights are done. I've now got my box of decorations that I need to go through. I literally do not know where these came from, how old they are. Oh look, we've got the star. Perfect. Packing on the top. Oh sweet, I think Daisy May bought that for me. <laughs> Can't believe I nearly forgot the star. I think the star's gonna be too heavy. I know, it's just gonna, literally, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> and there we have it, my Christmas tree. The decorations are incredibly random. They're so old, I literally have no idea where they came from. And look, I've got a little teddy bear on the top. I think that's worked out pretty well. These are my little Dior decorations. I like these ones, these little glass hearts, but the others are just a little bit random. Oh well, I'm pretty happy with it. Wow, oh, that looks incredible. The raisins have like all puffed up. <gasps> Amazing. I'm going to leave this to cool before I put it in a jar, like this one. You just don't want to put hot granola in the jar because it will just, you know, you'll get all the condensation and everything. So just leave it to fully cool before putting it in any kind of Tupperware. The perfect lunch for when you're not feeling well. I've got a sweet potato and sweet corn soup 
and some bread that I actually ordered from a local bakery. I'm just going to add some olive oil because, or a lot of olive oil, oops, it's very hard doing that one-handed, and a little bit of salt, there we go, nothing beats olive oil and salt, mmm, yum. And I've also got my little Givenchy snow globe there. Cute, beginning to feel like Christmas. Before I tuck in to my lunch, the bread that I got from the bakery, I use the app called Wheezy, and this isn't an ad at all. One of my friends who lives locally told me about this app. I don't know if it's just London, or if it's UK, or if it's Europe, like, I literally have no idea. I'd never heard of this app. And it's basically where you can order your groceries or food, things from your bakery, um, all little local um, stores within 15 minutes. And I didn't believe her at first, but since being in quarantine with COVID, it has been an absolute lifesaver because I've just literally ordered like bakery bread, sour fresh sourdough, and it comes within 15 minutes. It's amazing, I'm a big fan. If it's only London and you're watching this and yeah, I'm sorry if you can't get hold of it, but maybe there's something equivalent where you are, but it's the best thing since sliced bread. There you go. I've now put the granola in the jars. I'm really happy with that. I haven't actually had any because I've just had my soup and bread and everything. So I think I'm going to actually wait until the morning and have this with some uh, Alpro yogurt and some blueberries. I can't believe what has just arrived. I'm so excited. Are you ready? Oh my gosh, this is literally the best delivery that I could have ever turned up on my doorstep. This is from my auntie Holly. She is so sweet. They are vegan donuts. I mean, how am I going to get through six donuts on my own? This is hilarious. I have honestly just been blown away by people's generosity. It's just, it's so thoughtful as well, like sending vegan donuts. Oh my gosh, thank you, Holly, this means a lot. I've spent the past like hour basically just decorating. I've put all of these fairy lights up the spiral staircase and the tree's all done. I did have all of my candles lit, but it started giving me a headache because there was just a lot going on with all of the essential oils and everything. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it looks. I like these little red berries around here and upstairs. Feeling super festive now. Look at this, my little teddy on the top. <laughs> Christmas teddy, that's hilarious. I don't think anyone has ever put an ornament of a teddy on top of their tree before, but there you go. There's a first for everything, <laughs> Christmas Ted. I had planned to do yoga, as I said at the beginning, but I feel totally wiped, like doing the tree and the lights. I'm so tired. Um... Ooh. Ooh. Did anyone catch my yawn? <laughs> Oh, I just feel like achy and tired and yeah I think I'm just gonna curl up on the sofa, put on a Christmas movie and get a really early night. I'm not even hungry. I had the soup, I had a donut which was so good. Um, but yeah I think I'm just going to get a super early night. My taste buds haven't completely gone but they're definitely not normal. I can taste really salty foods or sweet or hot and spicy but like flavours aren't really there. I just realised I'm not really in the camera shot am I? Um, oh, I can't stop yawning. I'm so tired. Wow. Yeah, even yoga. I just can't bring myself to do it. I'm going to put a nice Christmas movie on and then maybe go to bed. Oh no, I need to take my nail varnish off. There's a few things I need to do, but yeah, I'm just really taking it easy. I'm not pushing myself at all. Just doing whatever my body wants to do right now. <laughs>
surprisingly actually had quite a festive day of decorating the Christmas tree, watching Christmas movies, making homemade granola. Yeah, it's been a very wholesome day. Um, I, well, I'm trying to think when I last filmed, it was when I put the fairy lights around the banisters. What have I done since then? I had a very light dinner. It, I wasn't that hungry. My appetite totally went. I don't know, maybe it's the COVID, but my appetite, yeah, hasn't been what it normally is. So I just made a really light salad just for the sake of getting some goodness in me. Um, and I just got some work done, got through some emails. <sighs> That's it. I literally haven't done a lot at all, but in a weird way, I yeah, I felt like I, I needed... I needed this to just do nothing, curl up on the sofa and not feel guilty about doing nothing. And it will be exactly the same tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that. <laughs> and then I'm released on Friday, no, not Friday. Friday is my last day of quarantine, but it includes Friday. So Saturday is my release date and I'm going away to the Cotswolds on Sunday night. Uh, I was a bit worried about that because I didn't realise like, well at the time when I first tested positive, I was like, I don't really know when the cutoff point is of my quarantine. But uh, I've been notified by the NHS that the 10th is my cutoff period. And I did speak to them because they call you like every day. And I said, you know, what if I'm still positive? Do I, should I take a PCR test just to be sure? And I was really surprised. They actually advised me not to take a PCR test. They said, you will be out of quarantine from the 10th onwards. Well, you'll be in quarantine on the 10th. Don't take a PCR test um, unless you have a fever and a high temperature. And I said, what about if my cough hasn't gone? They said, no, if you've still got a cough, unless it's like really, really bad, um, you'll still be fine to get out of quarantine. So I was really surprised by that. Um, I have been doing lateral flow tests. That's my positive one. I <laughs> kept it as a souvenir. Um, and today is the first day I've tested negative. But again, they've told me not to listen to the tests. So, but I do think that's quite interesting. Every day I've taken a lateral flow, just kind of out of curios curiosity. Uh, and today is the first day it's said negative. So, but I need to take them with a pinch of salt because these are the ones that were also giving me a negative result. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday morning last week. And it wasn't until the Friday night that it said positive. Uh, and my PCR, of course, as well, that I had done. But, yeah. Who knows? It's an absolute minefield. I'm just, obviously, doing it by the book, as the NHS have told me to. Uh, and I've got the app where it, like, literally counts down the days and everything of my quarantine. So I'm literally just doing whatever they say. And like I said, I'm not hating life in quarantine. It's quite nice. <laughs> right, I think it's only about 9.30, but I am going to go to bed and get some sleep. I've been sleeping about 10 hours a night. Uh, I haven't been setting alarms. First few nights I was still automatically just like clockwork, waking up at seven in the morning. But this morning I think I actually woke up at nine, which was so nice. It's a surreal feeling, but um, no, it's it's really nice. I don't think I ever actually let my body sleep in, but now I'm just, I'm going with it. I've totally relaxed it. I'm just like, you get all the sleep you need. So I'm quite looking forward to getting another good night's sleep, hopefully. So um, yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching my little COVID Christmas vid. Um, yeah, I'm not doing Vlogmas, obviously, because so far December has just been COVID for me. But, um, yeah, hopefully these little videos are bringing some joy. I don't know if they are, but uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon.